Okay, uh, welcome guys. So this video, uh, let's talk about uh, these two complex integration. Yeah, so this is the probably the final uh, few of the complex uh, analysis con uh, and contour examples because we already talked a lot, right? So I mean the the channel should go go other project, right? To go other topic. Yeah, but I still think that these two are interesting. So yeah, let's still do it. Okay, so before I start, uh, you must uh, I mean, I hope you guys subscribe to my channel and uh, click the notification button. Notification and uh, and what? And then click the like button and also comment. Okay, so let's start. <coughs> okay, so uh, so you uh, so you might think that oh, this video should be uh, first part one is of the left, part two is of the right, right? But no, right? So the total is that we are going to solve them simultaneously. Okay, so let's start. Uh, let's consider L z to be long z divided by z squared plus one. So I think uh, uh squared. So I think if you guys see my videos, then uh, you guys should uh, already familiar with the uh, familiar with the uh, 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 common technique. So I will not uh, waste you guys time. So let's start in from the contour. So uh, there is a pole here, right? So single pole is here. And uh, there's a branch cut because uh, z zero will be uh, this this log z will produce branch cut, but I, I can using branch cut at this direction. So there's uh, uh okay, and our contour will be this. Okay, and uh, let's say the large circle radius r and the small circle radius is epsilon. Okay, so our integral will be a b c d. Okay, so theorem tell me the cosy theorem tell me a b, uh, b c, c d, d a, f will be two pi i residue, z equals to i, f of z. Okay, okay, so uh, let's quickly see uh, the residue. Okay, so this is very easy. So let's quickly. So z equals to i f of z, right? So this is a single simple uh, simple pole. So I just times this. And the plug our z equals to i. So remember that uh, z equals to i. When you try to take a long, you should write i as a exponential i pi divided by two. So this guy will be minus pi squared divided by eight i. Okay. I mean, yeah, or uh, pi squared eight i. Okay. Okay. Now uh, let's talk about uh, the integral. Okay. So let's. Uh, I think Ronnie knows the trick, so I will go quick. So let's. Let's talk about the uh, BC part, which is a great circle or a large circle. So uh, x will z will approximate r. So our integral will be uh, long z, right? Will give you the numerator will give you long r square, and denominator will give you r square. And then there is a dz, so we'll give you another r, right? So you know that the uh, great circle should should proportional to or the magnitude should be approximate long r square divided by r. So this will goes to zero as r goes to infinity. Okay, so that means the gray circle will not have a uh, contribution. So we can e uh, we can eliminate this. Okay, so let's uh, see the small circle. So small circle is the the epsilon, right? Small circle. So the numerator will be long epsilon square, and the uh, dz dz will give you uh, epsilon, and also divide by r r square, right? But this is epsilon square plus one so when epsilon is small the numerator is is a uh, control by one so this is epsilon times long epsilon square and the epsilon goes zero okay so uh, i think everyone knows about how to solve it uh, we can write it as a uh, uh, long epsilon div square divided by one over epsilon and as epsilon goes zero then uh, both become infinity so we can use a lapito rule so let's differentiation respect to long epsilon uh, respect to epsilon you get this you get a minus epsilon long epsilon two, and then you can do the lapito again. Then uh, you will get the uh, two, right? You will get something like this. So you get the uh, minus two epsilon. So it goes to zero as epsilon goes to zero. Okay, so it tell you that the small circle and the great circle uh, do not uh, give you a contribution. So that means these two circles are not important, right? So you can eliminate this. Okay, so let's clean the everything and then write down everything we have. I think up to now, then we are uh, already 100% uh, close to answer. Okay, so let's say AB. 
So AB is what? AB is a, oh, by the way, let's write down a residue. We already compute residue with a pi squared divided by AI. Okay. So let's see uh, what is AB. So AB here, right? AB give you the zero to infinity log x squared. So this is just what we want. Okay, so let's talk about CD. Let's talk about CD. So CD will give you, so notice that CD is negative, right? So, so you should pay, you should notice that the uh, CD is negative. So you should write your x, you should write your original z, right, as a x times exponential pi i, and then your x start from uh, infinity to zero, right, infinity to zero. So there is a minus sign uh, in a dx which you can flip, right. So your CD will be zero to infinity long x plus you take long, right. So there is a pi i square x squared plus 1 dx okay so this is a uh, uh, sorry uh, let's see no not really right so your yeah so your x start from let's stay best so your x start from infinity to zero right but uh, your dz right, will give you an additional minus sign so you can flip this minus sign and then make this zero to infinity okay so the final finally let's write down everything so we have some of these two This one and the second one. Also the cross term. Cross term and uh, this final term i pi square negative one zero to infinity one over x square dx will give you the final answer, right? Final answer will be pi square divided by ai. Okay. <coughs> And uh, this is a real number. These two are the same, right? These are real, real number, and uh, these are our uh, so two pi i, right? I, I just I just somehow forget it. So this is minus pi to a cube uh, divided by eight, I think, divided by uh, i i minus eight pi cube. Uh, let's see. So you get the uh, uh, pi square divided by i. Uh, pi squared divided by eight i right, and then you need to you need to times the uh, two pi i right. So you get negative pi squared divided by four I think. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Okay. So let me so let me quickly uh, see what's going on. So we we compute the residue. We should get i i pi divided by two square and the uh, 2i, right? So this term is, uh, let's see, this term is minus pi squared divided by 4 ai, so it's pi squared divided by ai, right? So you times, yes, so you times 2 pi i, you should get this, right? So combine this, uh, let's see, this this term, okay, so we got 2, 0 to infinity long x squared dx, x squared plus 1, plus something, right? Some, some Something imaginary, 0 to infinity long x, x squared plus 1 dx, Plus this. So this is a uh, minus pi square, and this is arctangent, right? Arctangent. So this is this turns zero to infinity one of x squared dx is a uh, pi over two. Okay. So this is the final thing. So let's write down. So we get two zero to infinity long x square dx x squared plus one plus two pi i zero to infinity long x x squared plus one dx equals to pi cube cube divided by four, right? So this is uh, just flip, just change, okay? So up to now, uh, we get everything, right? Because uh, this is real, right? But there's no real term here. So this is zero, and uh, this term is uh, pi eight, pi to the cube divided by eight. Okay, so write down the final answer. So zero to infinity long x squared divided by x squared plus one dx is pi to the cube divided by eight, and the zero to infinity long x, x squared plus one dx will give you zero. Okay, uh, sorry about this. Uh, I made a little bit mistake in the computation, but uh, I think I finally uh, recovered. Okay, I think uh, maybe in the, in the next time uh, we can join. Uh, I think there is a generalization if you change this one to a square, right? Maybe we can do, do this uh, in the next time. But the computation, the, let me just recover. Uh, let me just uh, summarize the key, right? So you first set up this complex function. And then you write down a contour integral like this. 
Then you prove that the gray circle and small circle are lead to zero. And then you separate two integration. Then finally, you should uh, happily get an answer, right? So yeah, so that's it. And uh, see you guys next videos.